Hello everyone, welcome back, and on May 5th, we have some cruiserweight action, eight rounds of it. Elader Alvarez is making his return, yes, in the cruiserweight division. Elader Alvarez brings in a record of 25 wins, 13 by knockout, and two defeats. He will be taking on Mario Aguilar, who brings in a record of 22 wins, 18 by knockout, and seven defeats. In my opinion, Elader is just too small and doesn't have enough power to gain the respects a lot of cruiserweights, not just the elite level, but a lot, maybe the top 50. I don't know where Elater is coming to this conclusion that he needs to move up, but maybe this is a comeback fight to knock the rust off and move back down to light heavyweight. I would say that, but Mario Aguilar is no small guy. I just don't know what he's thinking going to this decision. Maybe he's chasing another Kovalev fight. Maybe the trilogy. That's what they're trying to build up. I just don't know. But uh, I do have Elater winning this fight by decision. I think he's just going to jab, move off his back foot, and point, point, point. You know, just evade, tap, 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 move around the ring. Now, Mario Aguilar, <laughs> he could KO Elater Alvarez. I mean, Elater Alvarez couldn't take light heavyweight power, how's he going to do against somebody who's 200 pounds, not 175, weighing 190 on fight night, somebody who's 200 pounds, weighing 215 to 220 on fight night? How is that going to work out for Elader Alvarez? That's the, that's the exciting thing about boxing. We don't know. And again, I'm the one picking Elader Alvarez, and I could be totally, totally wrong. Aguilar could come in and play spoiler, or maybe he's the favorite. I don't know what Elader Alvarez is thinking. I just, I just don't. Uh, but hey, more power to him. I just hope he doesn't get hurt. You know, he's the quiet storm. Hopefully, he doesn't quietly fade away, or hopefully, he doesn't go out with a big bang, and he's the one going bang. I mean, that Joe Smith Jr. fight. Probably took something from him, and uh, we're going to see what's left. Again, on May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, cruiserweight action, eight rounds, be there or not. You don't have to be there because it's in Canada. You know, tickets are probably sparse. About, eh? Anymore? No? Okay.